This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. As you might or might not know, on this channel, I'm covering Death vs. Her, and I've been following Amber's little saga of her posts about how she's supposed to be an avid reader. Now, what I wish is this. I wish I could sit her down, one-on-one, -on -one, live interview, have a stack of books she said she read, she claims that she knows about, and ask her some simple questions about main characters and things that happen in those books, and I would bet my bottom dollar that she won't remember everything. Now, I can't expect her to remember every little detail and things like that, but she should remember main characters. My speculation is she wouldn't, but I can't prove it right now because obviously we can't have that little interview, but what I can do is look at her photos and ask a few questions about why she's doing certain things, which is what I'm going to do here. First of all, if you are really an avid reader, you could actually share some thoughts on some of the books that you read. Instead of posting this shot right here, which is seemingly planned out, preemptive, this isn't natural. This is probably, you know, the eighth or ninth time she took this shot where the light is on her face just perfectly. She's looking up like she's in wonder. Of course, in a bookstore, that's probably on pretty much every corner in every city in the world. Nothing special. Why not have a 20 second clip, a 30 second clip? Well, if you're on Twitter, they allow two minutes and a half talking about the books with a friend who also reads. Why not make an Instagram post talking about the books? Why not have a book club with all your fans? You know, she's got all these international fan clubs following her, supposedly. Some people think they're her own accounts, but let's assume they're real. Why not start a book club? Why not talk about it? If you're that into books, if you read all the time, then you should be actually more into it. Not just flick up these pictures, you know, every couple of days, look at me, I'm reading, look at me, I'm in a bookstore. I don't know, man. It just seems like, mmm, little sketchy to me. As you know, Amber has shut off the comments except to people that she mentions or people she follows. I'm not sure how that works because I don't think she's following every single one of these people, but people like me who criticize her and ask questions like, why hasn't she been arrested for perjury? Why did she lie about certain things? You know, I'm not trolling, but I am asking questions that she doesn't want to hear. Get blocked out. So I guess we'll have to take a look at what her fans think about this reading. And you know what? Her fans never have deep thoughts. They never have a lot to say. Lots of emojis and one-liners. Ah, oh, it gets closer to what paradise will look like to you. I'm sure Amber Heard's paradise is a bookstore. It just doesn't seem quite right to me. That's my silly little opinion. The look of a bookworm in her personal paradise. Give us some good book recommendations, queen. <laughs> that is not going to happen. I mean, she might be able to recommend a few books she knows exists, but I don't think they're going to be books she actually read and especially thought about, even if she did read a couple pages for a photo shoot for Instagram. Are you going to get some new books to read to your daughter? I'm sure she's going to love to read just like her mama. You mean the daughter she hasn't mentioned around Christmas and New Year's? when you should be feeling the most family fun atmosphere in your life, but she did mention the dog. So maybe she'd want to read to Barnaby Joyce, her new dog. Good question. Why weren't those pictures of her baby instead of the dog on Christmas? I think it's a fair question. Amber Heard Daily says so cute as always. Amber Heard Italia fan says, your happy place. And this is a not so cringy image, except for the fact 
that on this actual thread, in context, it might be slightly cringy for some people. Can you give us some book recommendations I would really use right now? That can't be correct grammar. That's from Medusa. Medusa turns men to stone by looking at them. I think anybody is stoned. Not sure what the legend is. But Medusa turns people to stone by looking at them. But on Twitter, it just turns people to cringe. Alright, I'm being mean. I'm just being honest though. I get cringy a little bit looking at this stuff. But I want to cover it. Anyway, those are my thoughts there. Like I said, main point. This looks premeditated. It doesn't look like a natural photo. And I've got no reason to believe she's in this store to actually be looking at books because there's no indication of that. A picture is not a great way to convince somebody who doubts your word for very good reasons that you're actually a bookworm. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, that first heard, little Megan Marco, little Marilyn Manson, whatever comes up in the news. And if you don't subscribe and you think about it and you still don't, well, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.